Hello, we're going to talk about the C major scale. I'm going to show you how to play it in a couple of places. And then how to harmonise the C major scale, so how we add a chord to each step of that major scale and how we can take that into other keys. And then in future lessons we'll look at playing common chord progressions using that harmonised major scale. Okay, let's jump into playing the scale. The C major scale has eight notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C, an octave higher. That was a one octave C major scale. So we played the roots on the third fret of the A string. Now we're gonna use our third finger. There's our C. Then we're gonna play the open D on the D string. Second finger plays the second fret of the D. The third finger plays the third fret of the D. The open G. The second fret of the G. The open B. And the first fret of the B. So we have three on the A. Zero, two, three on the D. Zero, two on the G. Zero, one. Now we can get those notes further up the neck. We can also play on the A string, three, five, and then two, three, five on the D, and two, four, five on the G. That was three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five. We've still got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'm an awful singer. We can also, let's show you one more place to play it. We're going to do it over two octaves now. So, we're going to play with the second finger, thumb, one, two, the eighth fret of the low E string. And we're going to go eight, ten. And we're going to get the ten with the pinky. There we go, so eight, ten. And then on the A string we go 7, 8, 10. And on the D string we go 7, 9, 10. I would just get used to playing up and down. That one octave part of that scale first of all. This is C major, starting from the 8th fret. That was one octave. 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, 7, 9, 10. From 10 on the D, we play 7 on the G, 9 on the G, 10 on the G. Then 8 on the B, 10 on the B, 7 on the high E, 8 on the high E. Let's do that second octave again. From 10 on the D, we go 10 on the D, 7, 9, 10 on the G, 8, 10 on the B, 7, so all together. See if we can play it up and down. Try and think of the notes as you play. C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we C, D, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. 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 There's our scale. You could play it on one string. Three on the A. We could go a tone higher to five on the A, C, D. Then we could go another tone. Seven on the A string is an E. Then we go a semitone and we get to F. Another tone to G. Another tone to A. Semitone up to C. If we play that scale on one string from C, 
the A string we get 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Let me show you that again. We get fret 3, fret 5, fret 7. That's C, D, E. And then F is at 8, G is at 10. So we've gone. C, D, E, F, G, and then A at the 12th fret, B at the 14th fret, C at the 15th fret. There's a really important structure here going on, and I want you to memorise this if you can, because it's the same for every kind of major scale. We go up a tone, then another tone, then a semitone, then a tone, and another tone, and another tone, and a semitone. That's the intervallic gaps between the notes in every major scale. So tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And on the guitar, a tone is two frets on the same string. So if we go from the third to the fifth fret, that's a tone. There you go, and happy birthday. A tone at the start between them, or a major second we can call that. So we go tone, tone, semitone, and then three tones. So we could take it maybe on the first fret of the B string. Find yourself there, there's a C as well. We go tone, so you should be at the third fret of the B. Tone, fifth fret of the B. Semitone, the sixth fret of the B. A tone to the eighth fret of the B. A tone to the 10th fret of the B, a tone to the 12th fret of the B, semitone to the 13th fret. So tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. We're playing the same intervals when we play it there. Okay, try and remember that. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. If you start on any note on the guitar and follow that structure of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, you get a major scale. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, major scale. So try it at random, maybe the, I don't know, third fret on the B string. That's a D natural. You would go tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. It's a major scale. Okay, let's talk about harmonizing the major scale. I'm going to stay in the key of C. We're always going to build the chord off each step of the major scale. So the first step is C. And because it's the First step is a major chord, and the type of chord always follows the same structure, so it's always going to be major for the first chord. And the root note comes from the first step of the scale, so C major, we know that one. Third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string with the second finger, open G, first fret on the B string, high E, so we get C major. Then the second step of our harmonised scale is going to be built off the second step of the scale, which is D. And we're going to play D minor, because the second chord is always a minor. So we've gone C major to D minor. Now we play D minor here with the first finger on the first fret of the high E. The second finger on the second fret of the G and the third finger on the first fret of the B. That's a D minor. We leave out the E and the A string and we pluck, strum the top four strings. So we've got C major, D minor, then we go to E minor because the third step of that C major scale, tone, tone, is an E. Wherever you play it, it's always an E, and the third step of a harmonised major scale is always minor. 
So we get C major, D minor, E minor. Now the fourth note in the scale is F. And we play major. The fourth step in the harmonized scale is always major. So we get C, D minor, E minor, F major. We'll play that down here. C major, D minor, E minor, and then F major, we can do as a bar chord. We bar the first finger across all six strings. Second finger goes on the second fret of the G string. Third finger goes on the third fret of the A. Pinky goes on the third fret of the D. It's an F major. If we find that a bit tricky, we can put our first finger on the first fret of the B. Third finger on the third fret of the D. Second finger on the second fret of the G. And we're just going to strum D, G, B. If we don't love that one, we can play third finger on the third fret of the A, pinky on the third fret of the D, second finger, second fret G, first finger, first fret B. And we strum those middle four strings. So, just to recap, first chord is major and the C major. Second chord is D minor. Third chord is E minor. So we've got major, minor, minor, then we go F major. Then we're going to play the fifth step of our major scale. Which is a G, and it's always the five chord G dominant seven. So we get G, B, so third finger, third fret, low E. Second finger, second fret of the A, open D, open G, open B. First finger on the first fret of the high E. So we get that sound. G7. So we've got C, D, E, F, G. Major, minor, minor, major, dominant seven down here. Major, minor, minor. Major, dominant seven. See if you can remember our order. Five chords in C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G seven. Then the sixth note in a C major scale. Second fret of the G or it's an A. We play A minor. The sixth chord is always a minor. So we've had the first chord major, second chord minor, third chord minor, fourth chord major, fifth chord dominant seven, sixth chord minor. Now we're going to play A minor with first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger, second fret D, third finger, second fret G, and an open A. Alright. That's an A minor. We don't pluck the low E, we just play the top five strings. Okay, A minor. So we've got C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G7, A minor. Then we need what we call a B diminished. For the B diminished, we're going to play the second fret of the A with the first finger. We're going to put our second finger on the third fret of the D. We're going to put our pinky on the fourth fret of the G. And we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the B. Uncomfortable sound for some people, that B diminished. So, first finger, second fret A. Second finger, third fret on the D. Pinky on the fourth fret of the G. 
and the third finger on the third fret of the bow. There we go. And then, C. We're back to where we started. So the seven chord is quite unusual for some people at first. B diminished. But we raise up to C, so we get this sound. And C major feels like home. So C major is the one. D minor is the two. E minor is the three. F major is the four. G7 is the five. A minor is the six. B diminished is the seven. Seven leads to eight, which is C major. You can play it. All around the neck if you know some different shapes. But for now, I just want you to learn C major, chord one. D minor, chord two. E minor, chord three. F major, chord four. G7, chord five. A minor, chord six. B diminished, chord seven. C major, back to the one there. Now, if we take those numbers, we can play those chords in any order, we'll still be in the key of C, and they're gonna sound great together, because they're in the same family. So if we play C major, we can say that we're playing a one, because it's the one chord. Maybe I could go one, four. So to figure out the four, tone, tone, Semitone. One, two, three, four. I've gone up four steps. Ah, there we go. It's F, and the four chord is always major. So we'd go C, F major. So that would be a one, four. C is the one, and F is the four. What about a five? Anyone figure out the five there? Let's figure it out together. C is one, D is two, E is three, four is, F is four, sorry. G is five. And five is always dominant seven. So we get C, F, G seven, back to the one, is a C. Now, all of those chords, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G7, A minor, B diminished, C, are all built using notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, from a C major scale. So they're all really, really related. We call them diatonic chords. And we can start to add extra notes to them. So we could play C major seven, D minor nine, E minor seven, F major like that, maybe a G 13, A minor 11, B diminished seven, and then kind of a fancy C add line there. That is for another day, but please get this learned. C major being the one, D minor being the two, E minor been the three, F major been the four, G7 been the five, A minor been the six, B diminished been the seven, C major been the whole tonic chord. And try and remember C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, or tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And the order of the chords in terms of major, minor, or dominant seven or diminished is major, minor, minor, major, dominance, minor, diminished, major. See if you can come up with your own progressions. If each chord or step is a number, maybe you might play a three, two, one. That would be ah, E. The third chord is always minor. The second chord is 
D always minor, so it'd be E minor to D minor. So it would go E minor, D minor, C. You can use whatever variations of those numbers and they'll sound cool together. That is a harmonised C major scale. Get that stuff learned. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.